When the Black Forest Fire ignited this past summer, it not only destroyed property and the landscape, it forced the native wildlife to flee. I'm sure once the fire hit, you know, it was like, wh which way can we run where there isn't any fire? Now, five months later, Black Forest resident Connie Fisher has noticed the animals she used to see on a daily basis are virtually non-existent. I haven't seen any deer, any elk. I um, haven't seen a coyote or a fox near my property. It's believed coyotes in particular have made their way to the suburbs, settling into the sights and sounds of the urban landscape, making it their new home. It's possible that one of the packs or multiple packs came from the Black Forest looking for food, scavenging, and they're trying to set up new territory because their territory has been destroyed. Now, instead of hunting mainly rabbits and rodents, family pets are becoming easy prey. Since the Black Forest fire, there's been an increase in reported coyote attacks in nearby residential neighborhoods from Pine Creek and Cordera to Village 7. Last year, I think we had three coyote attacks. And so far this year, we've had over 20 coyote attacks. It's a frightening reality for many residents who say they have never seen coyotes in their area before. There are posters in my neighborhood of small dogs missing and other cats missing. Andrea Dinan recently lost three of her beloved Siamese cats, all of them taken right from her fenced in porch. It wasn't until I actually found part of one of my cats that I was able to accept that what happened to them. And my four year old doesn't remember my cats, our cats not being there. And she keeps asking me when they're going to come home, and I don't know how to answer that. It's attacks like this that prompted Pine Creek Veterinary Hospital to send out an email to clients warning them of the danger and stressing the importance of keeping pets indoors, especially overnight. Experts at the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center say coyotes are elusive by nature, but this time of year they are likely hunting more often. It's getting, you know, closer to winter time and they're needing to stock up on uh, calorie reserves. So they are looking for quick meals. And with more of them moving into urban areas, learning how to coexist has never been more important. So wildlife experts offer this advice. Always bring pets in before dusk. Never leave pet food outside where wildlife can smell it. Secure all garbage cans and bins and always keep your dogs on a leash while on a walk. Bringing along some kind of noisemaker is also a good idea. Loud sounds, anything, whether it be making yourself big, bad, bold, whatever, uh, an umbrella, opening up an umbrella, things that are unnatural to them. How many coyote packs are out there is hard to say, but one thing's for certain, the number of attacks on pets are on the rise, and residents need to be aware and share the information with their neighbors. Kimberly Price, Fox 21 News.